Today's topic, Ellen DeGeneres, she's apologized because on her set, there's been rumors of so much toxic behavior, all right? And I'm not talking about the Britney Spears kind. Of, <laughs> no, I'm talking about like that mad toxic waste, you know what I mean? You know, okay. And you're like, ooh, and then you turn into a mutant the next day, that kind. Toxic so, the Ravager. There you go, right. Okay. So... A whole bunch of allegations came out. She was under a lot of fire. A lot of people have been saying Ellen is actually a total mean and horrendous person. And so after months and months of problems going on for her, she's made this video. Oh boy, welcome to season 18 of the Ellen DeGeneres Show. If you're watching because you love me, thank you. If you're watching because you don't love me, welcome. <laughs> Um, as you may have heard, this summer there were allegations of a toxic work environment at our show. And then there was an investigation. I learned that things happened here that never should have happened. I take that very seriously and I want to say I am so sorry to the people who were affected. I know that I'm in a position of privilege and power and I realize that with that comes responsibility and I take responsibility for what happens at my show. I just want to give a quick shout out to Uncle Ben. You a real one. Uncle Ben. Spider-Man. <laughs> Am I wrong? Did you not, you not just plagiarize not... <laughs> oh, my man, wow. Uncle Ben? With great power comes great responsibility. I didn't even see that thing, man. But yeah, that's With Uncle great ben power right comes great, great responsibility? responsibility? That that's Uncle one of like, the most defining that lines was... of my childhood. That's, good. that's Uncle Ben. Yeah. That's Uncle Ben. Yeah, as soon as I heard that, I started man. looking at cops like, yo, you ain't heard Uncle Ben, nigga? We investigate ourselves. With great power comes great responsibility, Mr. Law Enforcement. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Uncle Ben. Yeah. Uncle Ben's a G. I thought, I thought you was talking. For two seconds, I thought you was talking about rice. Bro. I'm, sure I'm not the only one. I'm like, uh, what, what the hell? This is, are you hungry? Okay. What does Uncle nah, Ben's have to nah, do with this? Me, I'm but talking about, about Spider radio actor Spider-Man. 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 Radio actor. <laughs> 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 I think we get it. Yo, that was heat. That was dope. That was fire. Yo, Mary Jane was the hottest ginger. After that, I started looking at redhead women to do say different. I was like, yo, why y'all not like Mary Jane hot? Yeah. Then I saw the movies and I was April like, yo, y'all y'all done fed up yeah, yeah. Mary Jane. Yeah. But get Zendaya out of here. We have had a lot of conversations over the last few weeks about the show, our workplace, and what we want for the future. We have made the necessary changes, and today we are starting a new chapter. There were also articles in the press and on social media that said that I am not who I appear to be on TV because I became known as the Be Kind Lady. The truth is, I am that person that you see on TV. I am also a lot of other things. I, sometimes I get sad, I get mad, I, I get anxious, I get frustrated, I get impatient, and I am working on all of that. I am a work in progress. <clears throat> What's wrong, man? What is it? I feel like you just gaslit everybody who said that they had terrible experiences working with you. It's not enough for you to just sit there and be like, I'm a work in progress. If you don't acknowledge the negative things that you've done. Did you fuck up? Yes or no? Say that you messed up and say how. Don't be like, I'm a work in progress and I'll, I'll do better. That doesn't explain anything. Right? You kind of just be like, well, you know, the reason I'm to be kind of... It, 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 the reason why people are on you and they call you a hypocrite is because you espouse this idea of being kind, but your behavior was completely the opposite to a lot of people who had less power than you. It's easy to say, be kind. What is difficult is to be kind to people who can't take anything away from you, right? That's the test of character. And so I just kind of find it very slimy and... Well, it's calculated. It's tactical. Yeah, we're all just growing. We're, yeah, we're, everyone's growing. But you haven't taken accountability. It doesn't look like from anything that you're saying, but whatever. And I'm especially working on the impatience thing because, and it's not going well, because it's not happening fast enough. I will tell you that. <laughs> Listen, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm a talk show host and you know that, but I, maybe some of you know that, you know, I was an actress. 
I've played a straight woman in movies, so I'm a pretty good actress. <laughs> but I don't think that I'm that good that I could come out here every day for 17 years and fool you. This is me. And my intention is to always be the best person I can be. And if I've ever let someone down, if I've ever hurt their feelings, I am so sorry for that. Okay, I got a problem right there. So this is me. This is me. Well, what you're displaying right there is not the problem, Ellen. What people have a problem is how you are backstage. It's just things you do when the cameras aren't on. Mm -hmm. So when you say, this is me, this is me, well, it sounds again like you're gaslighting the very people who said that backstage you mistreated them. Because you, it's not about how you are in front of the cameras. And it's also you. Yes, it is you. It, it is you. It is part of you. But anybody that is bad and bad at something or bad to people are good to other people. So yes, the good part is, is also them. But it's not what we're talking about. Yeah, Hitler had a family. Hitler had a family. He had nieces, uncles, and stuff like that. And he was probably good to them. Yeah. But he was still Hitler to the rest of the people. But you don't think a Nazi in Christmas party was, 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 was lit? Come on, B. I'm not saying, and I'm not saying that we're comparing you to Hitler, although, you know, blue eyes, blonde hair. <laughs> See, I made a joke there. You don't like that? Yeah, well, that's what you... So my hope is that we can still be a place of happiness and joy. I still want to be the one hour a day that people can go to escape and laugh. I want to continue to help all the people that we help every day. And I'm committed to making this the best season that we have ever had. The problem that I have with the apology is this, because I understand that people can do to mess, they can mess up because of character and realize that they mess up and then apologize and become better. And I understand that. The problem is you, the way you phrase it, it really sounds like, you know, Oh, well, you know, I'm, I just want people to, 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 to feel good about this show and then be the one hour a day that people escape. That was not the problem. Again, that was not the problem. That one hour a day that you did in front of people was not the problem. That was not the issue. When you did that thing in front of people and you made them, you still made them laugh. But the problem was back there. The other people that made the show. That's that's the that's the problem that that happened, and that's what the issue is with the allegations that were against you, not the show, not the one hour that you were on camera, and you keep on referring like referring to that and everything and stuff. Anyways, the thing that I wanted to say is this. All right, it's very ca calculated and tactical. Of course, she's on TV, and that's what it is. There's people working on that. You have to understand that everything is calculated to what from what she's saying to the angles to what she's wearing. The why I'm not saying that she's not sincere about what it is, but I understand because I work in the industry that all of this is tactical. The the fact that she's wearing white on white on white, being a white lady doing that is calculated. She has she can't doing that apology wearing red, looking like the devil. <laughs> that can't happen. You understand what I'm saying? So I understand that everything is calculated, but you still again the fact that you're rerouting the the, the conversation with the allegation that happens against you to that the show and the one hour that you were good again makes me feel like yeah you were you're 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 dodging and you're reflecting you're deflecting what the issue was initially um i love you so much i am so happy to 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 announce that you're not my dj anymore right, right. you are now can we get a drum roll is that possible oh look at that oh, wow. <laughs> My co-executive producer. Are you serious? It's been in the news before that. I yeah. didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, he's the co-executive uh, producer now. Yeah, absolutely. Why the long face? I mean, she, he was by her side when... Yeah, I don't, I, at the height of all this civil unrest movement, this just seems like a great PR ploy. Just saying. Have a black man promoted as your executive? I like I like to see a black man get paid. But like I said before, all of this is tactical. This should have been your, your apology. I f***ed up. I'm sorry. I really need to do better. We've been saying that. All these but, other things about apologies and this and that. man. Y'all know that, what they like do. That, they that, still got the same script. They all have sound to, the same. You have to understand that she actually... Just to, to reinforce the fact that you think that it's like a... a Whatever you know, the fact that he put Twitch as a 
you end your apology, not this show, your apology by that announcement. I'm so progressive. It's it's tactical. very self-serving. It's tactical. And I understand, again, I'm not saying that she doesn't feel what she feels, but all of that is ve- it's, it's very calculated, which, you know, it is what it is, and that's the business. But, it's like you people, know, when it's like, you... It's like those people in those abusive relationships, mm-hmm. right? And then the person's like, all right, I've changed, I've changed. And then you finish with a bouquet. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, I, I get it. I, I get it. I really get it. And Twitch was not one of them that was suffering because it was part of, you know, the team team, right? Off air, that's different people, you know? Me, listen, um, that's just me. That's just me. I try to be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't try to be nice. I'm nice to everybody I meet if I go to a country club, whatever, whatnot, because I can understand that I can go back to that stage real quick. All of this can end really quick. So, but yeah, all that was tactical. All that was tactical. It was oh, It was really tactical. Like I said, the measure of character is not how you treat people in front of the cameras, but it's how you treat people who have zero ability to hurt you. Or to give you something or to promote you. Or yeah, anything anyone like who you don't need anything from, rough. Those are the people who I judge you on how you interact with them. And so far, your track record has been negative. You didn't address that. So your apology and all this other riffraff about... Love is important and blah, blah, blah. You know what love is founded on? Honesty and integrity. And you lack it. So here you preach about love and this and that. Boo-boo. No. Nah. It's, it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> You can't give up, you can't give up